my phone rang and it was President Susie Whaley calling me and she said, I want to congratulate you. You're the, our 2019 Golf Professional of the Year. And I choked up. I just kind of started crying. You know, getting that call, it was my version of winning the green jacket. It was winning the Masters or the Grand Slam. It was very special to receive. After college, I started at the Grand Cypress Academy of Golf here in Orlando, and I became a head instructor and taught here for six years. And back in those days, it was the real home for PGA Tour players. So I feel like I was Mayo trained by watching the best teachers and teaching you know, thousands of lessons a year standing out here in Orlando. So I got my start coaching here. Then I went on to become director of instruction for the Robert Trent Jones Golf Trail in Alabama. Then went on to become director of instruction for the Country Club of Birmingham, where I now am the golf pro. And I've been their pro now for 19 years, and I'm their fifth pro since 1898. Offensively, hinge and pop it. I'm a feel-oriented coach. Uh, I love taking the what the player brings, building on their positives, working with the DNA inside of their swings, what made them great, and then I try to make their misses a little bit better and then make them their good shots a lot better. But uh, I think you need to mesh your instruction and make it adaptable to the student you teach. And if you can give them in a simple message where they can get better at golf and go perform, that's really our job as coaches, isn't it? Graham went to the University of Alabama, Birmingham, and um, I worked with him all those years in college and then his first couple years as a professional, and we're still great friends to this day. But uh, Graham is another one of those, you know, a little bit weak grip, a little bit shut face, and but a great body that rotates through. and. Um, so many good qualities about Graham. I wanted to always maintain and keep those good qualities that makes him so good. I've cherished my relationship that he and I have had together. You know, Eric was probably one of my main coaches when I was at college here in the States and, and really straightened my game out and obviously have a huge amount of thanks to, to him to, to kind of helping me get to where I am today. He's a first-class professional. He's a great human being. Uh, he cares a lot about the people he works with, and uh, you know he's a you know he's a great ambassador for the sport. So couldn't be happier for him. And like I say, huge thanks to him for everything he's done for me and, and my career. To see a student that I taught win a just be a small part of it. You know, I'm, I'm Graham is a great player, an international, wonderful person, and to be just a small part of a U.S. Open champion and say, I mean, I think I made some contributions there that helped him. That's pretty rewarding. But I think the credit goes to the players. You know, the coaches need to be in the behind the scenes. The players need to receive the credit. So um, I, Paul Dunn won a couple years ago, and I couldn't have been more happy or more proud when he got his first win on the European Tour. The work we did in those two and a half years leading up to turning professional, it was like, it was a gradual improvement, you know, so I think he's been a great help, you know, for me to be able to turn pro in the first place and then to be able to make a living at something that I, I do and love. So, yeah, I owe him a lot of debt and gratitude and, but, you know, hopefully moving forward I can repay him. And let your right arm cover a little bit. Paul's arguably one of the best chippers of the ball, chippers and pitchers of the ball in the game. He's just got the most incredible hands you've ever seen. And when he drives it in play and then can use his short game to his strengths, he's good. Because I think he's got some really unique abilities. He's a lot like Graham in the fact that when the pressure's the highest, the spotlight's the brightest, they play their best. Eric meets you where you are. He knows that I'm probably never gonna swing the golf club like Lexi Thompson since I started at 50. But he has made me a better golfer by starting and working through my swing. But it was a very fundamental, very basic, never making youth try to think five thoughts at one time, uh, very simple, and uh, it really works. Uh, and every time things go a little awry, I try to find my way back to Birmingham. I wouldn't trade anything for my relationship with Condi. She came to me in, I think, 2011 or 12. She's originally from Birmingham, Alabama, and wanted to get some lessons over a Christmas break. And we played a round of golf, and on the back nine, I said, let's clean up your lower body action here a little bit, make you a little tighter. And we got to our 13th hole at the Country Club of Birmingham, a little par three, and we still don't know how it didn't go in as a hole in one her first stop two inches behind the cup and it's been magic since. So I guess I would say long versions a lot of my success in my career has come through others so that's a nice way to feel like I've given back. <laughs>